One of the hottest new items over the last few years has been stainless steel, particularly mugs like Yeti, Arctic, and other brands. Now applying a mask to it is actually very simple and sandblasting it gives a great effect of not only the image that you want, but also a paint fill application. So let's go over how to do that and uh, get this in our sandblaster and put an image on it. First thing we want to do is we want to clean this. Get my, again, my lint-free towel with a little bit of glass cleaner, wipe down my surface, and get it nice and clean. Now you'll notice this is rolling around a little bit. A really cool tool to use is a burnisher or plastic squeegee. You'll notice a couple ridges in that squeegee that you can set something down on and it won't roll around on you. So something to keep in mind when you're in your production shop trying to figure out how to do this the most efficient way. On this particular project, we are going to use SR3000. We can also use SR2000 with glue or SR3000 with glue. The reason you may want to add a little bit of the RZ2 adhesive to your mask is to help prevent some of the residue that can be uh, left onto the stainless steel after you're done. The reason that residue is there is the heat that's generated by sandblasting actually burns some of the film residue onto the stainless steel. That extra glue will act as a barrier of that heat in order for that not to transfer. So it may be worth it for you to put a little bit of extra glue, a little bit of extra adhesive on that stainless steel in order to prevent that from happening. We're just going to pinch a corner to help that carrier come up to give us something to pull on later. Apply our mask, in this case a Harley Davidson logo. Make sure the mask is on our our mug where we want it. Again, it's repositionable. If it's SR3000, we can peel that back up. And we're going to take our squeegee and apply some pressure. Now, as with the glass and crystal, SR3000 is always pressure sensitive. So the more pressure I put down onto the mask with my squeegee, the better the bond's going to be. So let's get this masked. If your carrier wants to come up with the mask, simply take your squeegee, reapply pressure where that carrier's coming up, and it'll give you something really easy to pull off. Perfect. Four pieces of tape, and now we're ready to sandblast. One more thing I do want to mention about this, on stainless steel, we're not going for depth. We're going for a polish removal from the stainless steel itself. So there's two different ways to do it. We can sandblast it, take our masking off, clean it up, and then uh, have a polished and non-polished look, or we can sandblast it and add a little paint. For this particular one, I've sandblasted this one. Let me remove my mask here to show you. I've sandblasted this. After sandblasting and before removing the mask or cleaning the product, I've added a little bit of Stone Tone black paint, or you can use a Molotow brand paint. Any color will work. Let the paint, shoot the paint in, a little bit at a time. Less is more with painting. Let it dry, remove the mask, and now I have a painted surface. So really two looks that can be done with a stainless steel mug. We can either do a polished and non-polished look or that painted look. But either way, the Yeti cups and stainless steel, uh, anything, any stainless steel items can be done with sandblasting with really quick and beautiful results.